Max here, and today we're making another Feather Family video. In today's video, what we are going to be doing is actually there is something new, very surprising. I know. Well, okay, we're gonna sit here and think about it. Is it new? It, it's definitely new, but I'm trying to figure out if it's something that was already here before and they just changed it. But I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'll, I'll just I need to just t spit it out. So there's a, <laughs> there's a vet in the map now, and then I was. I was kind of thinking on the sanctuary but i was thinking like the sanctuary was basically like a vet but then i'm kind of thinking no <laughs> so i'm pretty sure they're like two different things because the sanctuary is like where you, they kind of like take care of the animals and they don't like i think sometimes they can definitely like release them if they feel they're ready to be released or they want to actually release them but i think a vet is more like a place that checks on like animals and make sure they're well and then also hold on to animals um, okay, so it says these have both been updated. I believe we've already checked out both of them. But, you know, we'll just use the toucan anyways because why not? We've had the toucan before. We've seen the toucan in its lovely little ballerina dance. Beautiful toucan, by the way. Anyways, we're going to try and check out the lovely vet part of the map. Oh, <gasps> I spawned in the area. <laughs> okay, so the vet is actually in the sanctuary area. Yeah, okay, see, I could definitely, like, tell that they were probably, like, around the same thing. I mean, they definitely, like, seem like it because they both kind of, like, check to make sure the animals are doing all well. So did the sanctuary, though, like, because it still basically has all the things, but I'm believing the main building basically became a newer building. So we got veterinary clinic here so we're gonna check that out there's actually quite a few people in this area it is quite crazy <laughs> all right so if i come in here we've got a bookshelf um a hurt bird <laughs> we've got a bunch of chairs we've got I'm sorry, I wanted to check this here. Three R's. Rescue, rehabilitate, and release. Yeah, okay. See, um, I'm not, like, I don't know. Because I definitely, like, I'm pretty sure that's what, like, sanctuaries do. I believe, I guess, vets do that as well. But usually a vet is more for, like, a place to bring animals that are like owned or like have an owner of some sort and bring them like get a checkup i mean you could also just bring in like other animals i guess like if you find like a wild animal and you don't exactly know what to do with it I, i'm pretty sure a vet can chill with that <laughs> so we got the three r's guys it's pretty much like recycling you know the three r's of recycling very nice all right here we are in a room <laughs> i don't know what you call these rooms i just i guess you call it just like an office really right whoa how did i get here wait <laughs> i'm in like a whole different room hold on <laughs> there we go back over here so we've got a lovely little cage here little checkup area you know where they like kind of set you and you know they check you out um this I have no clue what this is. This is like a way thing. Like, this, see, I'm gonna try way. I mean, maybe. We've got a sink. I know that. I know what a sink is. <laughs> We've got a med kit. And we got quite a lot of bottles, actually. Oh, my excuse me <laughs> okay bye uh we got this room this one does not have a cage on it but there's a cage down there uh th there's a little diagram i guess a little example of what the inside of a bird looks like quite frightening if you ask me but you know kind of educational i guess <laughs> i guess if we're learning then it's all worth it right guys right okay moving on oh that's the end of this place then we go to the other room actually hold on what's over here oops i'm getting stuck under <gasps> oh there's an upstairs bonk 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 boink what's happening in here oh geez it's for bigger birds i guess we got a giant table here oh my goodness <laughs> that's a bright light we've got a cabinet here we've got a bunch of bottles here we got another cage oh my goodness crazy all right i'm i'm skadoodle daddling oh the door was closed there <laughs> my my true bird is showing because i cannot see through these glass doors all right now over to here we got a rescue center okay see rescue center is where they would probably hold them after they're done with their checkups you know like after they're all good and done you know then they get put here with the others why do i keep like closing myself in here i'm just trying to close these 
Oh, boink. There we go. Okay, so we got a bunch of cages in here. There's a few birds in here as well. Uh, we've got food. Okay. Well, at least we've got food in here. There's a bunch of different kinds of food. That's nice. That's nice. And then in here, we've got... I believe these are all basically, like, incubators, right? Right? Like, this here? I guess this is more for, like, tiny, tiny bird children. You know? I, I don't know. Maybe if you have never had, like, a tiny bird before. Here, I'll just... I'll give an example. Because I've had chickens before. What you want to do when they're, like, tiny little, like, chicks, what you do is you kind of, like, have them sit in a little small area. And then you have, like, a heat lamp to make sure, like, they stay warm. Because, you know, if they get too cold then that's it for them you know so you gotta keep them heated and i also had a friend who had chickens and ducks which they also they were both kind of treated the same like they both had to have like the incubator i think for the ducks though it wasn't like i think they had the light a little like less like it wasn't as hot for the chickens i'm not sure though yeah we got incubators and i'm assuming that's what these ones are as well i've never exactly seen like this kind of before i mean i'm not even sure maybe the eggs just go in here again not not completely sure i know i've seen an incubator before but i have seen a different type of incubator Incubator to like it's like I don't know how to describe what it looked like exactly but it nicely like held the eggs in and then it kind of like sit in there and kind of like a it was kind of like a box shape but with like a dome type shape over top of it and then it basically just like he heats up on the inside and so it's just really cozy for the eggs you know there's a lot of nice little benches over here now as well as these little stand podiums you know okay okay I literally don't know what they're called but I know what they're for they're basically um resembling like when you go to like a zoo i guess you know when you go to a zoo and they kind of have that little like thing that's in front of the cage that kind of gives you the info and it says like what animal it is and then it tells you a bit about them so that's that's what that is but it doesn't say anything exactly I don't think it would be cool maybe if they made like specific places for specific birds but I definitely understand like not doing that as well oh my gosh they added like a little separate barn in that one that's so cute <laughs> uh, we've got a little sitting area over here you know in case you're cold <laughs> you know just heat it up and then r right next to it is a very cold place you know what what a difference we got like every little area just all in here it's very nice I like this i like the update i think that's really cool i oh my gosh i like when this game updates i feel like they always have like really good updates and they're always like worth the time to like wait you know like worth the wait i guess like <laughs> and so you can sit there and wait for these updates because you know they're gonna be like worth it and like something to actually see and it's definitely gonna be different it's not gonna be like something tiny it's gonna most likely usually be something bigger even if it's just like a bird remodel that still is pretty big in my opinion like <laughs> I feel like completely remodeling like a model that you already had can definitely be like a little bit of a bore and maybe just take a little longer so I definitely like can sit and appreciate the models and the time it takes for them to redo these models you know I can I can do the wait guys look at this one oh my gosh these are so cool I like that there's like glass walls to keep all the coal inside of it that's so cool and they got like little ice things over like the snow. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be in here, but I wanted to see it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. That's so cool. I like that. Oh, they just, they added everything needed. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. I'm leaving. Okay. I think that's it, though. That, that was definitely it, but, you know, oh, good. I, I appreciate it. I really like the update. I really like the vet area. Um, hopefully, we've learned, you know, it's really cool to be able to learn in games. I mean, honestly, I think it's just best that way, too, because people complain that you're just playing games and you're rotting your brain, but, I mean, if if you can if you could put learning into games then i mean oh my gosh i'm not talking about like math games or something but i'm saying like <laughs> if you could just add like maybe small little facts kind of like untamed planet does i feel like that's just so cool because you just slightly get like a little insight on things that you might just not know and then you know you feel you feel better about things because then you you know more you know people like it when they know more stuff you know it makes them feel big brain it's only true anyway that's going to be it for this video if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to be a part of live squad and i'll see you guys in the next video bye